I'm interested in everything at stake. This is the most important political event uh, in China. What is going on here in China is important, not only for China, but for the rest of the world as well. It is encouraging that they are still expecting the growth of around 5%, which will help the world, basically, and most of the developing nations. The continued focus on high-quality development, uh, use of technology, use of green and sustainability, I think this, uh, those are very, very, very important uh, to all of us as developing nations. As I've seen in this uh, report, uh, there is a part uh, devoted to the hydrogen energy, and we would be very much interested in doing a lot of uh, uh, bilateral uh, cooperation in, uh, in hydrogen energy. What I see is uh, all people-centered. It's a comprehensive report. I think China is in correct path to achieve further development, modernizing the society. The developing countries like Sri Lanka could learn from China's experience, knowledge and expertise and how China was able to achieve. This is my first time, so I've been here before. And um, of course, uh, I, I, I never stop uh, uh, getting excited to be part of these sessions because this is uh, the, the, you know, the most inclusive session that brings together people from all walks of life, different backgrounds. They come together to uh, discuss very important matters based on the proposals made by the people through their grassroots structures. So it is uh, the most inclusive process which allows people to express their views and these views are converted into multidisciplinary kind of uh, policy framework that becomes the, the, the basis upon which the government uh, makes policies and programs to impact on the lives of the people. We are really focused on uh, the economic cooperation between China and Africa. That's why today we are here also to see how we can foster this partnership, how we can uh, do better.